Oh, hello, you caught me. I was just reading this book. It's fantastic. It's the tale of brunches in your life. Bah. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Hello. Come up, cozy up next to my trusty deep fryer. And we'll have a cup of cocoa and tell tales of this life of brunch. Hey folks, I'm Matt from Fiddle Gastros and Brunch Life is coming soon to an Amazon and a cookbook store and a bookstore near you. Kai and I are super excited. That's why we're giving you a little bit of a sneak peek. We've been going through a few of our favorite recipes from the book and showing you a little bit what you're in for. We're gonna go right to the good stuff. Fried chicken and biscuits. There's a whole chapter devoted to chicken and waffles and my job was to figure out some interesting ways to kind of take chicken and waffles and make a new dish every single time. So we're gonna do Carolina fried chicken thighs with biscuits done in a waffle maker. All right, that's brunch. Okay, so you can't have a fried chicken sandwich without fried chicken, you guessed it. So here we go. We have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, some buttermilk, and then we have our flour for dredging and a little bit of seasoning. Now the seasoning is just salt, pepper, and onion powder. We're gonna add this to the flour. We're gonna mix it together. Fork or a whisk and just mix it all together. Now we have our boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've removed the excess fat. We're gonna add this to our buttermilk. Up the flour stick to the chicken. At this point in the book, I go, hey, while your chicken's marinating in buttermilk overnight, you can make your barbecue sauce and your broccoli slaw. But I'm not giving you all the secrets. So we pre-made the sauce and we pre-made the slaw. So yeah, we're gonna get the book to figure it out. It's all on you. It's all on you. So now we're gonna fry our chicken thighs and this is the most important part about frying chicken. We're gonna remove the thigh, place it in the flour. We're gonna cover the thigh with the flour. Then once it's covered, you're gonna press the flour into the meat. Now by pressing it really tight, that is the act of dredging and that's how you get nice crispy batter. All right, so our chicken is dredged and seasoned. Our oil is to temperature. We're gonna use tongs to drop it in the oil. I'm gonna let it fry until it's a nice golden brown and 160 Fahrenheit in the center. All right, so while our chicken thighs are frying, I'm gonna make the biscuit bun waffle batter. It's all of the things. So you're gonna grab a large mixing bowl, grab some all-purpose flour, um, baking powder, white sugar, and some salt. All right, so our dry mix is all set, ready to go. Now we're gonna to start to add our wet ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do is vegetable shortening. So you're gonna to wanna to throw it into the freezer, make sure it doesn't melt on you. I'm gonna grab a cheese grater. You're gonna do about a third of a cup of shortening into flour mix. Now that the shortening's in the bowl, you're gonna kind of cover it with flour, making sure it's like broken up into like little pea size pieces, fully covered. And then once that's done, we can start to add our wet ingredients. So dry ingredients mix, shortening mix, we're gonna add our milk and a little bit of buffalo hot sauce. You wanna take the batter that's already well mixed and kind of use that to grab all the flour off the side of the bowl. Cause you actually do need all that beautiful dry mix. All right, so now our biscuit dough is ready to go in this bowl. We have a waffle maker that's hot and excited for waffle making. I'm just gonna lightly grease it with some canola oil. It's a non-stick waffle maker, which I highly recommend using, but just in case, just give it a light, light brushing. All right, so now what we're gonna do, because you want your biscuit waffles to be about the same size uh, as your chicken thighs, right? Because it's a sandwich, it's meant to be a sandwich. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make cute little, little balls like so, and place it on uh, each on one of the four quadrants that is already kind of outlined in your waffle maker. And most waffle makers are outlined like that. And if they do end up coming together, like not a big deal, you just make a little cut. So once they're in there, you're just gonna close. <laughs> All right, first round of biscuits are done. 
Oh, they're so cute. Little slider bun biscuit waffles. It's all the things. Now keep in mind, if you're making, I think the recipe calls for, uh, you know, it makes up to six. If you're making six sandwiches, you actually need 12 waffle biscuit buns. So, chicken's done. We're gonna pull it out of the fryer, let it drain out the oil, and we're gonna place our chicken thighs on this plate right here. All right, so now we have all the components for our dish. We have our fried chicken, our Carolina barbecue sauce, our broccoli slaw, and of course, the biscuit waffle bun. Now we're gonna build it all together. So, we're gonna take all of our fried chicken thighs, place them in a bowl, and we're gonna take our Carolina mustard barbecue sauce, generously drizzle. And then just like chicken wings, we're gonna give it a little toss in the bowl. And now, we're gonna build our sandwich. So we're gonna build it by putting one biscuit waffle down first, saucy chicken thigh on top of that, grab a little healthy piece of our slaw, and then you take another piece of biscuit waffle, place it on top. Ta-da! Waffle biscuit, fried chicken sandwich, brunch. Well, there you have it, folks. Another recipe featured in our upcoming book, Brunch Life. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Matt, that was a great video. I'm starving. How do I eat the sandwich? Well, good news. You can pre-order the book right here on the link. That way, on September 12th, when the book comes out, you're already ahead of the game. You can just cross that off your to-do list. You've ordered the book. It's being shipped to you as we speak. Well, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you've already pre-ordered Brunch Life, good news. Let me know in the comments below. We'll figure out a way to get back in touch with you, and we are gonna email you some of the recipes that didn't make the cut in the book. You're just constantly winning. Constantly winning. All right, well, enjoy brunch. I'm gonna crush a sandwich. So cute.